Hello and welcome again to the Alarm Lock YouTube channel. Now in this training session I want to show you how to replace a gateway with a new one. Now that would be uh, the remote programming device used to program the network's locks. So the gateway is connected to your network and then your computer or the software connects and programs the locks through that uh, gateway. Now there are times when maybe a gateway, um, a board goes bad or it's uh, had a power surge and it, it uh, makes the gateway inoperable. If that's the case, there's no need in removing all the locks, deleting the gateway, doing everything uh, that you would probably normally think that you would need to do. We do have an option that is called replace a gateway with a new one. Now that is under the gateway configuration, so you'll open up your gateway configuration and you'll see that I have one gateway here. I have 12 locks assigned and one expander assigned. Now it would be a, a long drawn out process if you have to remove all those locks, default all those locks, default the expander, uh, replace the gateway, and then discover everything all over again. Uh, replace gateway with a new one is a real quick, easy process. So what you will do is you'll um, highlight the gateway that you will want to replace. Uh, don't remove it, just leave it in here, okay? And then you'll go under gateways, and then you will uh, scroll down to replace gateway with a new one. Now if you have expanders on the generation two gateways, the expander uh, group setting needs to be the exact same setting as what you have in your existing gateway. So it will warn you about that. So I'm going to click the replace gateway with a new one. And it tells you warning before continuing. Uh, please make sure the expander group number is set identical to the existing gateway. Would you like to continue? And then you just click yes. Now you're going to go ahead and have that new gateway already connected to the network, uh, already defaulted, and uh, you know, just like you would if you were going to add a new gateway to the system. So once you have all that and you've uh, clicked on click, uh, replace gateway with a new one, you click on yes, and it'll discover a new gateway, uh, on the, all the new gateways on the network. And once it finds an existing gateway, a new gateway, it will pop up and it will show you uh, the MAC address, the IP address, and then the version. And so you're going to make sure that the uh, IP address, or the MAC address, I'm sorry, is the correct MAC address for the gateway you're going to replace um, the existing one with. So this one is a D9D6 is the last four, and that is the correct one. So you hot check the uh, radio button and then click OK. Now what it will do is it will transfer all of the information from the old gateway to the new one. You see that the IP address has changed from the 10.0.0.49 that the other one was, and it has changed, moved all of the locks and the expander to the new gateway. So if we go in and we look at the uh, under locks and we look at the gateways lock table, you'll see that it has all 12 of the locks that were associated with the old gateway. And it has uh, everything is just like it was, except you have a new gateway. All the locks that were on the expander, which are located uh, here under the location, EXP1 shows that this particular lock is assigned to that expander. So it moves everything over. You don't have to remove anything. You don't have to default anything. It's a quick, easy process. You saw it took about 30 seconds to do. Um, now you can go take the old gateway down if it's not already down. And all you have to do is just go in and program the locks as you normally would. So I hope this has helped uh, helped you uh, save a little bit of time if you have to replace a gateway. 